Hello everyone, in this video I'll be explaining on the application and conclusion of sterilization, disinfection and antimicrobial agents. This sterilization, since it is a process by which an article, surface or medium is made free of all microorganisms, either in the vegetative or spore form. So, removing all those microorganisms or destruction of those microorganisms from the surface, article or medium will prevent the spread of infection from person to person or from the patient to the hospital em employees or from a patient to patient. Disinfection is the destruction of all pathogens or organisms capable of producing infection from or but not necessarily spores. So all organisms may not be killed but the number is reduced to a level that it is no longer harmful to health. So in disinfecting certain surfaces or articles or disinfecting your hands frequently can prevent the spread of infection or the occurrence of infection from those microorganisms which come in contact with you and then decreasing the amount so that it is no longer harmful or it is no longer able to cause you infection or disease. Next is Universal precautions are the guidelines which are given to protect the workers from exposure to diseases or by spread of blood or other body fluids from the patient or the secretions or the materials contaminated by the patient. So there are certain guidelines which can are given to, in order to prevent the spread of infection from the worker or to the work or uh, from each work or uh, itself or from the patient to the healthcare workers. Next, coming to the antimicrobial agents. Antimicrobial agents are the drugs or the in case of the drugs which are used against bacteria are called uh, antibiotics. Against the virus are called antiviral agents, and and these drugs together are called antimicrobial agents, which are used in the killing or destruction of the microorganism that is causing the infection or the disease. And this test is done in order to check whether the microorganism causing the infection or the disease is resistant to a particular drug or susceptible or intermediate susceptible to a particular drug and then in order to find out or to find out well, which drug will be the most convenient or which particular drug will be able to kill the microorganisms that is causing the infection or disease in the patient. And then thereby finding uh, which drugs is more susceptible or which drug is resistant that it should not be given to the patient where it won't have any effect or where it won't kill the microorganism and, and enhance in the treatment or the patient. So this test is done for the treatment of the patient and to find out which drugs or antimicrobial agents will be most convenient or will be able to cause kill the in microorganism causing the infection and these antimicrobial agents are uh, does the action or mechanism by various ways